Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about Snapseed, the app. Surprise, surprise. Well then, as you can see, we are in a really bad situation. We are backlighted. That means that the sun is behind and the object that you want to photograph is in front. So that will be a good way to show off what DNG RAW files can do. Let's open up my camera app. I'm gonna just be sure that I am photographing in RAW and let's just in an automatic way photograph this. If I check out my library and you, you can see a bunch of problems. I think that guy is following me around. Well, I guess I get rid of the creepy guy. I hope. Now I'm wondering why I can't have a normal YouTube tutorial video without someone creeping on me. Okay then, back to the Snapseed. Snapseed is uh, made by Nick Software. It's Nick Software, not Nikon. Nick Software, okay? Uh, they have uh, some kind of relationship with Google, so this app, it's free! I don't usually open the photo through here, like so, but what I usually do is I am in the gallery, I am checking out my photos, and uh, ah, I want to edit this photo, so I press to edit up there, and ask me which app I want to edit in. 99.99% of the times I use Snapseed. If doesn't show up Snapseed here, you always can go to share. Here we have it, Snapseed, boom. So if the Instagram, it doesn't show up like this, you can press it to get everything here. So it started with the raw workflow. So let's edit the raw stuff before advancing to the next stage. Okay, so as you can see, we have three main problems. Everything on the highlights, it's way overexposed. Everything on the dark places, it's way underexposed. And the white balance, it's completely off. So let's start with the exposure. As you can see, we, um, let's try to go one plus or minus one plus. Okay, uh, this, this image is so bad, you have to choose your own poison. So let's go here to highlights and try to push it down, all the way down, okay. And the shadows a little bit up. And now I'm gonna go to the contrast. I actually gonna remove the contrast a little bit and structure a little bit up, uh, like a lot. And the saturation a little bit up and while I'm adding the saturation, as you can see that the white balance is way off. Okay, let's warm this a little bit, like so. And the tint, let's go minus, oh, no, minus four or eight, it's, it's about right. The greens looks better and the rocks a little bit more realistic. And the creepy guy, it's in here. Look at the creepy guy, ah, oh, the creepy guy. So when you zoom on this app, you have this, uh, this screen so you can navigate uh, through the image or use the two fingers because if you use one, you are editing the image, as you can see here. Double tap anywhere on the screen to zoom out. Let's approve the, what we just did here. And now we are presented with looks and tools. Looks is like the filters on Instagram, I just don't pay attention to it so let's go to tools and in tools we have again develop mode that means the raw editing stuff so in image tune it's almost like editing the image without the raw stuff if your image is not raw this is a good alternative to correct your image and in here there is a really cool thing that i use a lot it's called ambience and I'm gonna crank up the ambience. See how the details are pushed up. I really like this, uh, this look. Hot tip for you, you can add the, the same filter again, like image tune and uh, in the warm, warm. I'm gonna crank it down a little bit. Uh, not too much, like so. And the saturation, where is the saturation? I'm gonna crank it down a little bit. So. As you can see, the green 
uh, stuff it's not that good but the snow in the sky it's way better so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna prove this and I'm gonna go back to this icon up here and I can view edits and as you can see my edits is over here if I click to the left arrow on the filter I have the first icon it's to delete the second it's to make a mask and the third one to edit the filter so you can see okay now what I really want to do it's make a mask well in the 175.50 it's the density of the mask and this icon next to it it's to jump between 100 and 0% and the eye icon it's to make visible or invisible the what are you doing what are you masking let me just show you so everything that I am painting in red will be affected by the filter and everything else won't be affected by the filter so the red eye make this uh, a little bit more visible nice so it's really cool and really great have the ability to work with masks in this particular app so let's explore a little bit the other tools like details you have the again the the punchy stuff and the sharpening stuff okay for instagram it's really cool give it a little bit of sharpening okay let's approve this let's go to tools again and let's go to curves i really like to work with the curves and you can add a, some manual contrast like so for example or you can for example edit the green stuff okay and the blue stuff uh, sorry the blue stuff there we go you can add some artistic freedom in there so one thing about the the filters you have this icon on top to get the before and after so this is really terrible so i'm gonna unapprove this okay let's go to white balance again it's not a big surprise there oh about so the white balance you have this icon here that you can select an area to say this is white correct everything else okay that's nice to have so you have the crop so this is a you have the different crops in here for example if I, if I want to make um, a square I am locked down to make a square there okay but what I'm gonna do actually it's have all the freedom in in here I want to crop like so and in here oh, I, I kind of like this guy okay perspective again you can add a try to correct a little bit the perspective there and it auto fills the holes there let I actually like the distortion of this okay you have the different modes over there you can explore that by your own but I don't want to add this okay and you have expand this is really cool sometimes instagram crops your image and you don't want to crop it so you can use these bars like so so instagram won't crop your image you can fill with black white i usually use white if you follow me on instagram you can see that i use white a lot and smart where it tries to fill with um, like uh, yeah, sometimes it does a good job sometimes it doesn't but I don't want to crop this brush you can use a lot the brush for example I want to warm up a little bit the sky like 10 and let's warm up a little bit the sky I want to like uh, the exposure go really dark on the stairs like minus one there we go minus is enough healing well, healing, it's a really powerful tool. I'm gonna zoom in. When I zoom in, you see that this circle, that means the area that will be affected by the healing properties, or if you are with the brush, the size of the brush. So it's really cool to zoom in to get the size of, the, of your brush correctly. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to erase the creepy guy. Let's see if Snapseed 
does a good job. There we go. You know what? I like it. It's a really bad job over there. This is an exception. It's a way too big thing to erase. Uh, if you go to some small thing, it actually can correct, like these panels over here. Let's try to erase them. As you can see, it did a really good job because the guy was too creepy even to Snapseed. Okay, let's approve this and let's go back to tools. You have HDR scape. I really like this filter. Sometimes it's go way too much. Just a little, just a touch. Uh, let's check how it was before and after. Honestly, I don't like it. It, do, it doesn't work on this photo. And you have a lot of other stuff. You can make a double exposure stuff or add in some text, uh, work on portrait stuff, lens blur and a lot of stuff you have a lot of stuff here so there you go you can share it directly from the app or you can click on done there you go a really powerful tool snapseed and lightroom now i'm gonna go to uh, even more advanced stuff i already show you this adapter it works like a card reader it also has the micro sd on here to connect to your smartphone this is to connect your computer and USB-C so I'm gonna remove the SD card from my camera plug this in this adapter magic I'm gonna plug it on my smartphone now what I'm gonna do it's go to file manager uh, USB storage DMC Canon and I'm gonna copy this file over here copy and I will put it in um, my SD external okay of the app AS file explorer what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open this image as an image it's a bit strange but it's a walk around okay I'm gonna long press it go to more and uh, open as image and as you can see snapseed is here and boom how awesome is that? Now what I'm gonna do, it's a quick edition of this image. And there you go! Boom! Done! How easy was that? This is a nice workaround to edit some raw stuff from your big ass camera. So which app is the best one? Well, there is no answer for that because each app is really different from one another. So which app I use the most? Honestly, Snapseed. I really like from my gallery, I just press edit and boom, I am in Snapseed and I am editing. That's really nice. One thing that I don't like about Snapseed is I can't edit directly raw files from Canon, Nikon, Sony or stuff like this. It has to be DNG. The walkaround of the app AS Explorer, it does work but mm, come on. When I am traveling, actually I use much more Lightroom because the instant backup from my DSLR camera it's awesome, it's really simple and uh, it's backup, it's in the cloud so my photos couldn't be safer. Yeah, they are really different apps and Adobe please add that sexy histogram that you have during the edit on the camera. That would be so great! It would be the most perfect camera app ever with that functionality. Come on, come on, you can do it. Yes, you can do it. Yeah. Comment down below if I should test out the um, unlocked version of Lightroom to show you all the things that it can do. Well everyone, that's all that I have today. So if you learned something, drop a like. If you have any questions, leave it down below and Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I am Miguel. Until next time. See ya.